Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Brooke. I post videos once a week and today's video is going to be my slime collection. So it's going to be a longer video. Um, I think it's like 25, 26 minutes, something like that. And sorry about like my hair and stuff. I just got back from my soccer game. But yeah, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you like longer videos, um, Shorter videos hopefully will be coming back soon as well as normal intros. I know I haven't sat down and had a normal intro in a while. It's because my life has been so like beyond busy recently. Like I just had so much going on and this week especially has been busy. So I'm lucky I even got a video up. But um, press up sub 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 huh? Press that subscribe button if you're new here and turn on the notification bell so that you get notified every time I post a new video. And I'm going to sit down for this part because I have a little bit I need to tell you guys. Okay, so um, these slimes are not necessarily for like sale. Like I'm not opening up a shop or anything. Oh, mascara in my eye. I'm not opening up a shop or anything, but if you guys live near me and you would know if you live near me or go to my school or go to my sister's school, um, you can buy these slimes if you would like them and, oh my allergies, and yeah, so I think I say a couple times in the video like, oh, this one's for sale. Most of them or all of them are for sale. So you can DM me on my main Instagram or my Glossy Slime, which is our slime account Instagram that I don't really post on anymore. Um, so yeah, if you want any of these, just let me know. And yeah, but without further ado, I'm not shipping yet. Um, that's the thing is we had a, we were going to start a account, but... We ended up not doing it, so this is just kind of a little thing. Like, if you want them, then that's great. I'll, you know, I can make that happen for you. Um, but, yeah, if you're not in Texas or anywhere close to where I live in Texas, then it's going to be kind of hard to get them to you. So, yeah, without further ado, let's just get on to the video. Okay, guys, so I'm actually not going to voice over this video just because I feel like it'll be a little bit easier for me to explain. So, this first slime that I'm starting off with is a slime smoothie. And the base of it is really nice and it has like this really pretty color. make like a tofu type slime but as you can tell well I don't know if you can tell it's very very liquidy and runny so I just added like beach to the top but it's more of like a jiggly slime but it's really pretty it's kind of sticky that's why I'm playing So you guys have already seen this slime, but this is the finished product of my slime from the last video. And it's super sizzly and a really nice butter slime. It's actually kind of hard because I've played with it so much, but it smells amazing. I added scent to it and the glitters.
I'm in a little for these. This one also smells amazing. And the foam beads give it a great texture. And if I were to activate it right now, the base would be super thick. And two, I'm gonna try to do them in theme, so we're gonna do um, foams now. So this one you've also seen in a video. Also, I love how it smells. The base is super thick. So this is a clear foam. This is really pretty teal color. Super thick clear base. It makes the best um, popping sounds. And if you guys see any of these stickers that say glossy slimes on them, that's because that's our slime Instagram. And I was actually about to have a shop, and then it ended up not working out. But like I said in the intro, if you guys want any of these slimes, just DM me. You can DM me on this Instagram or my main Instagram, and I'll get back to you. I actually just got these containers in, so that's why some of them have these containers. You guys saw this one, but I don't know if you really saw like the finished product. It is amazing. It is probably one of the thickest slimes I've ever made. So butter slime that I have. Whoa, what the heck? Do you guys see that? The color is like changed. This is actually my first butter slime so that's why it's not the best but this one's super spreadable like let me start it over here okay so for other butter slimes we have this one that you guys saw that has a charm in it so this one's a really nice one to buy also can't really see the charm but this one is made with model magic so it's not as sizzly So next is this clear slime that you guys have also seen, but I don't know if you ever saw like the clear finished product. It's just like a light green color. And these things, these little like sequins, they don't hurt your hand. So if you're looking for like a clear thick base slime, this one is amazing. Sorry for that slime on my nail polish. It literally will not come off. For the thick slimes, a lot of them are peach colored. So. But 
Oh, this is actually, this is like a floof type of slime. It's amazing. This one will not be available. You guys have seen this one, but this one is my all-time favorite thick slime. It's holdable. It has bubble pops. It's stretchy. Really nice pokes. It looks dirty, but it's not. It's just the different glues that I've used. This one is called Mint Chocolate Chip. And this one's actually made with Gain. It's one of the very few that are Borax free. Um, so if you don't want borax, I'll activate this one off camera with um, gain. So So if you want my snow slimes, they're gonna be a little bit more expensive. And they are gonna stick to the container, but they shouldn't stick to you or your surface. I'm gonna try to do a drizzle. I haven't ever been successful at drizzles. Is that a good drizzle? It's more like a cloud cream, I guess you could call it. And I can color this for you if you want for no extra charge. And then Next, this is a fake snow one. That is so pretty. And super thick and stretchy. Let me get the camera to just focus on the color. Really good bubble pops and super crunchy. Not really pokeable.
but yeah next is just this light snow one it's this purple color with glitters in it and wow a bead <laughs> actually the glitter slimes recreation one of her which one did I remake? It's like pink lemonade. Super crunchy and apparently sticky. This one is also holdable and has really pretty glitters in it. It's kind of sticky, but fishbowl type of slimes. So first I have this really pretty blue one. With these super pretty glitters, super holdable, thick base. And I've had this one for a while and it's not even sticky, so. that I made in my last video, but this one's blue. And all of these ones will be more expensive because of the fishbowl. This one is also holdable and very thick and crunchy. I have the same one but made with silver glitter glue. And way more like soft. And bead fallout is very likely for this one, as you can see here. Not very stretchy. I'm not even gonna put this one for sale because of the texture of it. Sorry for the quality of this video, guys. Next one is called Winter Candy Apple inspired it's a recreation of slime city bees um winter candy apple and it smells exactly like the scent also super thick really pretty glitters and the scent is amazing, oh my gosh. Also holdable. give you guys a sneak peek oh my camera's about to run out of storage but it's this super thick almost like a snow textured slime These really pretty glitters in it. I'm not gonna tell you guys what's in it because my last slimes, I they don't really have a theme. Most of them are clear slimes, but they are all my slimes in either this type of container or this type of container. So yeah, let's just get started. 
So we're gonna start off with this one, and it was actually my first um, gold leaf slime, but I didn't use um, Elmer's glue on it. I used tacky glue, so it is a putty type texture. There's no food coloring in it, it's all just gold foil. This is like thick, thick, like super thick, but stretchy, like it's super stretchy. This is actually my sand slime. It's made with pink kinetic sand and it is the best texture. I actually didn't make it. My friend Cassidy, who you guys have seen in videos, made this one and it's almost like a cloud slime and this one will be not be for sale This one is amazing. Well, I'm gonna go to these putties that I got from this brand right here. I bought them at Michael's. They're like a foggy kind of color. And I wouldn't consider them slimes. This is a putty for sure. And once you warm it up in your hands though, it gets softer but it's still super stiff. And as you can see, the glitters are falling out and they're all over my hands. I don't know if you guys want a video of mixing just these slimes together. And then I have the silver one, which is more clear than the um, purple one and way more stretchy. Oh. Holdable though, but they're definitely putties, I think. And they're not pokeable. Gold one. The gold one is definitely my favorite, but it's more like a yellow tint of gold. Okay. Now I have what was at one point a Oh shoot, what was that? Amazing. This, oh, I wanna eat it, it smells so good. But I would call it like a cherry color if my camera, it's like not that bright at all. But it was once a jelly cube slime, but now it's like this kind of texture. Has some glitters in it. I'm just gonna pick up the other glitters with it. Not really pokeable. Just because of its size. This one will be cheap if you want it. 
So next, this is a fish bowl, but I didn't put it with the fish. Oh no, this isn't a fish bowl. This is my glitter bomb slimes, is what I call them. I have three of them, all in different colors. It's almost like these, but these are actual slimes. As you can tell, it's real sticky. But with Cinderella's ball gown, this is the slime Cinderella would have had with her when she went to the ball. Just this like really pretty iridescent. The camera does not. Hopefully once I edit it, it will come together more. This one's super stretchy also, crunchy. And this one actually is not sticky. This one is more soft. Um, and this one does hurt your hands a little bit. It is slightly sticky, but yeah, I just don't have time to activate it. Anyway, so guys, I hope you guys enjoyed that video. I know it was a long one, and I know you guys don't really tend to like long videos. I don't really like watching long videos unless I'm like getting ready or, or something like that. Um, but this week's video, is, or next week's video, is my morning routine. So stay tuned for that. That should be a semi-short video. I don't know, probably like 10 minutes or something. But yeah, I will see you guys next week. Bye!